What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the Start This Business YouTube channel, the My Rental Car Journey mini series. Make sure y'all tap in after the intro because we're going to go right into the reason why I haven't seen any of my cars in two weeks. So I have some explaining to do, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Let's go. <music> What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Um, as promised, like I haven't seen any of my cars in the last two weeks. Um, for example, the Elantra has been rented out. It was rented out about a week and a half ago. The Versa was actually rented out three days before that, so that's coming up on two weeks. I mean, as soon as I got the Versa back from it being gone for two two months, I list it, and then I come, of course the very next day the car gets booked. And again, I haven't seen it back. And then of course the Ford Focus is still gone believe it or not the very first person that ever rented a car still has a car and we're going on over two months it's crazy so i really have like no new information for you guys because all my cars have been gone for a long time so it kind of leaves me now in a situation where i have been pondering getting more cars i know that sounds crazy because i just got two more but again the four focus has been gone entirely since i put it on the platform that car has been gone for two months um just a little over two months and i'll show you guys too if you guys don't believe me i will show you just because you guys know on this channel there is no bs and we're keeping it real and i'm gonna be transparent with you guys so um again the four focus has been gone for two weeks or i mean two months the elantra is actually about to be extended for another two weeks the original trip is supposed to be for two and a half weeks um, but he just texted me earlier today, or I'm sorry, he texted me last night, and he said he wants to extend it for another two weeks. So the launcher is about to be pushed out for another two weeks. Um, the Versa was actually rented by a return customer who I know, or a return renter, who actually uses the car for rideshare purposes. So he extends it, kind of like the lady that has my Ford Focus, he actually extends it day by day. And I'll show you that as well too. Um, but he's had my car, uh, again, now it, it's going on close to two weeks. Um, and I'm, I just know with him as well, too, he's going to extend it out. Um, last time he had my car, I actually had to bring it back from him because I actually, it was, it was, I had a booking on Toro. So I had to get it back from him. And then guess what happens? When I, that car came back, that was the lady that actually blew the transmission. So it's crazy. Um, but it's all coming full circle and it's back to this guy. And I wish I would have never took it away from him in the first place because my car probably would have never hadn't blown the transmission. So, um. It's going to be very interesting to see how this is going to play out, but um, I definitely feel like I need new cars because I'm still getting asked from previous renters who need vehicles who are still texting me and asking if I have any cars, and of course, I don't have any. Um, so I definitely want to do something about that. Plus, I have a couple other people who may rent my car out by the month, um, but I just haven't had a car back to even make that transaction because all my cars have been gone and you know they're being booked pretty quickly, so... Um, so that's it guys like I mean I really this is gonna be a quick one I mean I don't have any like new information I don't have any new updates new crazy stories because it's just which is a good thing because everybody that has my car right now has been has been great I mean I've checked the GPS trackers on them you know a couple times over the last several weeks um, and it's I mean everything's been everything like there's just been no issues um, so I feel really really confident with the people that have my car the Elantra is probably gonna be the one that comes back uh, the first which is gonna be in about two weeks that's probably gonna be the first car that comes back um, and then you guys already know how this thing works as soon as it comes back it's gonna be booked again so um, again don't be surprised if you guys see me drop a video here very shortly talking about I got a new car um and i might have to get more than one again i'm not sure like and this is this is crazy it's crazy how fast this business has already scaled since i started um i mean again you guys been around for the entire journey so you guys seen it as well too so uh, once again i mean as always if you guys are thinking about doing it i'm strongly suggesting that you guys do it because as you see i jumped into a market that's already busy like Atlanta is not a place where, you know, it was kind of new. Toro was going on where, where I'm at for a while. Um, so it's not like I was the first person or one of the first group. Like I really was kind of actually late to the party if you think about it. Um, however, once again, you guys kind of see how it is. And, you know, I'll even show you guys probably how many bookings I have and just how it works like that. So um, once again, if you guys are thinking about it, I would definitely strongly suggest you guys do it. 
um, and just get one car. You know what I mean? Do what I did. Get a cheap little car real quick and just see how it moves for you, how it works out for you, or rent the car that you are already driving right now. And of course, y'all can hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen to get all the updates as they occur. And as always, I really do appreciate the love and all the people who have taken the time out to subscribe and all the interactions I've been getting since this page has started. So I really do appreciate the love and I can't wait to see you guys on the next episode. Peace. I mean, it's just crazy. Oh, shit. But as always, y'all, damn. And of course, you guys want to hit that subscribe. Oh, man.